The switch between Windows shortcut that was available in the Windows Vista on the Quick Launch toolbar has been done away with in Windows 7, but if you'd like to have it down here and pinned to the taskbar that when you click on it, you can switch between windows instead of using the shortcut keys like Alt Tab or Windows Tab, then follow me. I'll show you how to add it. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new shortcut. In this shortcut, I've got an address for it that will allow us, when we click on the shortcut, to be able to switch between windows. So to create a shortcut, just find a blank area somewhere in your desktop and right-click, go down to New, and then go over and up and click on Shortcut. And then it says go ahead and type the location of the item or browse for it. And the location that I have, let me come down here and click on the Word document to maximize it, is going to be this. So you can pause the video and write this down. It's going to be the C drive backslash Windows backslash all the way to EXE space capital D W M API space number 105. Since I already have it here, I'm going to click and drag to select it, and then right click to copy it, then come back down here on my taskbar to click on the corresponding button for creating a shortcut, and right click in the field here and paste it. Go ahead and click next give it a name and it's going to be my switch between windows click finish and that's it I'm going to go ahead and close out of here without saving and it's right there so let me go ahead and click and drag and move this down below and double click and open up a few windows here so we can switch between the windows whoops let me click and drag that so I can see the shortcut down below. So when I double click on the shortcut, it's comparable as holding the Windows key and hitting the Tab key. You get your 3D switch between windows, right? Or the Control Windows Tab key. And then I can go ahead and tab through all these, right? Go to the one that I like, then hit Enter on the keyboard, and it brings it up to the top. Now, I don't want to have to double click on this, so I can click and drag that and pin it to the taskbar, and then click on it. Anything that's pinned to the taskbar is a single click as opposed to, let me hit the escape key, a double click being on the desktop. Okay, one more thing. If you want the switch between icon that you saw in Windows Vista, I know you're a little bit picky, aren't you? Just like me. Go ahead and right click on the shortcut that's on your desktop. Not the one that's pinned down here is the program, but right click on the shortcut. Go to properties. Then on the shortcut tab, down below, click on change icon. And then what you want to do is come up here and delete the current address for this icon. And I'm going to go ahead and right click and paste this address. You probably can't see it. So let me come down here and right click on the Word document and open up Microsoft Word again. Let me right click and paste it here. In fact, shift home to select it and let me make it really big here. So it's the percent symbol system root percent symbol backslash you can see that there are no spaces just like you see it there you can pause the video write it down in any case let me close out without saving it once you've typed it in here go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard brings up well some additional icons the least of which is the old one that we're used to well if you were used to it in Windows Vista that's what it looks like double click on it to select it it's the switch between windows icon click okie dokie and let me close out of these windows here and there it is. Then you can go ahead and click and drag that down and pin it to the taskbar but we already have it here so let's right click and unpin it click and drag and pin it and there you go. Go ahead and click on it and we're back to square one. Hit the escape key to get out of it or again you can tab through it and then go ahead and hit enter when you have the correct window up at the front or use the mouse. Again click on it hit the tab key use the mouse click on that it brings up the desktop. It minimizes everything else that I have open down here to the taskbar. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.